Welcome to 574 Sports. My name is Tanner Camp, and to my left here, we have senior guard Carly O'Neill. She is this week's Maple Leaf Athlete of the Week. That week, Carly Average had 17 points, 5 steals versus Spring Arbor, and she had 28 points, which was her career high versus Marion. On the season, she averaged 11 points, 3 rebounds, and shot 37% from 3. Big note is that in the last four games of the regular season, Carly averaged a little over 20 points per game. Carly, first of all, congratulations on this honor. Thanks, Tanner. Uh, so how does it feel to be this week's Maple Leaf Athlete of the Week? Uh, it's humbling. I feel really honored, and um, I can have, can have happened without the help of my teammates. So it's a, it's a nice honor. And teammates very supportive of it and well-deserving, not even just within that last week, basically within the last two weeks. So, again, end of the season, uh, you, know it was your, you knew it was your final year. What was still was your mindset going into your senior year? Uh, I think one of the things that I tried to focus on my, my senior year was uh, to kind of just leave it with no regrets, just do my best, play hard, be the best that I can be as a leader and just as a basketball player. And um, at the very beginning of the season, uh, my mentality kind of shifted because my twin sister got injured the very first game of the season. So... It was a little difficult to kind of adjust to that, but uh, overall I think I can look back and just kind of uh, have no regrets because I, I tried to do the best I could, and I'm really happy with how um, our team performed together and just kind of finished the season strong no matter uh, how our, our record shows. So it was a good season. And as you said, people with the record, they would think that you guys did not play as hard, but which I am far from the opposite. In fact, a lot of games were very close, and it showed that you guys played very hard throughout the season. So very great answer. And again, with Thanks. your sister's injury, you know, that can be, uh, that can be a struggle, but, you know, you, you took that uh, very well. So. Thanks, Tanner. Um, go, going over the summer, you know, it can, it can be difficult. You know, final year with a good group of uh, ladies. What did you do over the summer to get ready for uh, the senior year? I think just having a year under my belt uh, with Coach Miller, kind of knowing her expectations and how she uh, kind of expects us to be accountable for staying in shape and all of that. So I kind of took it upon myself to work out almost every single day this summer and get some shots up. And Caitlin and I, we would push each other and um, – running mostly because that was kind of my biggest thing was just being in shape so <laughs> just making sure I wasn't going to die this year um, was a big thing so and with coach Miller you know having previous experience with this taking a team to the national uh, semifinals a few years ago so it's great that you're doing that for her and just and like you said to get ready for this mm -hmm. last season so again end of the season but um, even in terms of games again r the record you know not as glamorous as maybe you were expecting, but still, how would you say that the team did in the sense of just games in general, but even more than that, just the overall chemistry between each other? I think this year was definitely a growing year for our program, but more importantly, um, I, I couldn't ask for a better group of girls to kind of grow together and go through those battles with. We um, definitely faced a lot of adversity, and every single day coming to practice, we all showed up ready to play. No one had bad attitudes for the most part. I mean, yeah, you have bad days here and there, but everyone was playing for each other, and it was just a great feeling to, to go to battle with these girls who always put each other first and um, was just a great example of what a great teammate was. So um, just regardless of, of um, the competition that we play, um, we, we'd be disappointed at times because we wouldn't win, but um, I couldn't be more proud of, of our team and just our chemistry and how um, no matter what happens we'd always just try our best and work hard so and by the end of it you know everybody wants to win and nobody wants to lose but by the end of it all just uh, the connection that you guys had on the court and off the court really shows throughout the entire campus and even the community of Goshen Thanks. so uh, you know this is a uh, very difficult because you know end of the season but what would, what would you say your favorite moment of the entire season was in your, your final year here at Goshen College I think one of my favorite moments was probably the last game of the season just because um, we played the defending national champions at uh, Marion University and um, they kind of went into the game probably underestimating us and we lost by four points to them. So that kind of was a, an a testament to like how we just would per persevere through adversity and just we didn't care that they were the top dogs. We just came ready to play and um, just wanted to have fun our last game. So that was probably one of my favorite moments. 
and again, it showed, I mean, the fact that you really surprised a lot of people, and this shows that this uh, in next incoming class and next year's team could really cause a lot of, could cause a lot of uh, trouble mm -hmm. for the crossroads. So, again, this is normally for basketball, but just in general, you know, you're in your final semester here at Goshen College before going off. What are you most looking forward to finishing off here at Goshen College and then just looking ahead once you graduate? Um, well, uh, as any senior can probably relay, I don't really know exactly what's going to happen with my future right now, but um, I'm just optimistic um, for the girls, um, for the program here. Um, my sister's coming back next year to play, so... I look forward to coming and supporting um, the team and um, just seeing how much they grow from this past year and uh, just see who steps up and the incoming freshmen too. So um, so just not only the basketball aspect, but I look forward to just coming back and seeing everyone. So. And it's great that you plan on coming back. A lot of people will definitely remember you years <laughs> to come in the future. Thanks. Carly, with that, do you have any final thoughts, comments, inspirational quotes that you want to give? Um, not really, just I'm just very, very blessed that I've had the opportunity to play here. And um, like I said, I look forward to seeing how much the, the team grows from here. And um, you definitely won't see the last of me because I'll be right behind my sister all next year watching her play. So, yeah. again, and again, we look forward to seeing you in the future cheering your sister and the entire mm -hmm. team on. Carly, thank you so much for your time. We really thank appreciate you. it. Tanner Camp here with Carly O'Neill here on 574 Sports.